Land one to one, Rowan. You mentioned that. What is that? A land one to one's in several phases, uh, and um, several of them are, are uh, well underway. But most recently, and this this uh, connects Ryan Matal as well. I mentioned that earlier on. Um, land one to one phase three uh, is the acquisition of a thousand and forty four. Uh, medium and heavy lift trucks. So the prime movers will be manufactured on the uh, production line in Austria rather than in Australia, but uh, there'll be 872 modules and 812 trailers, all of which will be manufactured in Australia. And some of those contracts have gone to places like um, Varley Engineering in Newcastle, Holmwood Highgate uh, in Brisbane, Eclipse in the ACT, and uh, that very well-known uh, Hallmark, which is it makes a huge proportion of the um, semi-trailers that you see driving around Australia's roads. So a significant, uh, another significant um, win for Rheinmetall there and Australian industry. Yeah. And why do you think Rheinmetall has been so successful winning these defence contracts? Well, I think there's a couple of reasons for that. One would be the products. Uh, they're very highly regarded for, for the, uh, the vehicles that they produce. But I think Whilst that's uh, certainly necessary, it's probably not sufficient. They need to mount pretty competitive bids um, and they're tightly, very hotly contested um, competitions here in Australia. So um, those would be the two key elements for sure. Plus setting up um, industry in Australia was a key part of it. So the Australian industry content package that they uh, will have included in their bid will have helped their competitiveness and attractiveness from, uh, from government's point of view. And what's coming up for Ryan Mittal in with the with the ADF? Uh, well, directly related to them um, is uh, potentially phase three of Land Four Hundred, um, which is um, mounted close combat capability, uh, primarily enabled by infantry fighting vehicles. So that's really to replace the venerable. Uh, and now very ancient M113 armoured personnel carrier of uh, Vietnam War vintage um, mm -hmm. and the associated mission systems. That, that was a tender the government released in August uh, 2018 and that's to acquire 450 infantry fighting vehicles and uh, a number of uh, 17, I think, uh, manoeuvre support vehicles in association with that as well. So that's, uh, that's in the marketplace now. And I'm sure that that will be every bit as hotly contested um, as the, um, the recent competitions that we've seen Ryan Mattal successful in. You, you could think that um, uh, from the point of view of um, simplifying the logistic support issues, that it might make good sense for the, uh, the Army to stick with Ryan Mattal in its solution. But I do think that it'll be hotly contested, as I said, and there'll be, uh, it'll be based on a number of things that would be one factor amongst them, though, I would think.